So this is part four of the four-part series, and this one is Papa. Let's talk about Trump, the big dog. If you like the video, I hope you do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Okay, so this is the final. This is the fourth of the four-part series. This one is going to be Papa Trump. Let's talk about Donald. Number 45, and uh, maybe I'll even say his name a little more often than I usually do. So let's see what's going on with him. Well, this is the final of those four parts, and this is uh, going to be about Donald. And we'll see where he is right now, and um, if he has regret or if he's going to, um, is he going to actually do some time? Let's let's just let's look at what the cards tell us. Okay, so these are the Toth Tarot deck, Alice, Alistair Crowley. And these are from U.S. Game Systems. And uh, these cards are pretty amazing. Um, some like to use them if they've got kind of a severe uh, subject uh, that they think needs, uh, um, you know, a very direct uh, answer to them, in, in, uh, not a, a flowery answer. The guidebook is very useful, as a matter of fact. It's easy to read, and it's got some interesting uh, uh, information here on the um, author of the card and the painter of the cards and uh, with some uh, collaboration. So I'll just read this one little thing. This is by Lady Frida Harris, who actually painted these cards. And she says, Arthur Crowley's Toth Tarot Deck, the tarot could be described as God's picture book, or it could be likened to a celestial game of chess, the trumps being the pieces to be moved according to the law of their own order over a checkered board of the four elements. I love that. It's a very insightful way. If you think of the artist using that as her guiding light to designing the cards, that's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, the cards themselves are are easy to read if you read the cards. In other words, if you don't impose your uh, predetermined notion of what a particular uh, card is supposed to mean, uh, like I often do, because I'm very much like the Rider Waite system, but these Toth cards are amazing. What happens here is that um, they tell you here, in a, I don't know if you can see it, but in the background you see this tells you this is Wands, and of course this is the Prince of Wands, and then the, um, the Major Arcana, they show them in the very faintly, you see here it says Trumps, and uh, then this tells you this is Art. So they're not exactly the same uh, order of divination as a Rider Waite system, but not far off. And if you take a minute to familiarize yourself with, the, with how they uh, are ordered, then I think you'll be okay. And I'd just like to give you this chance to look at all these cards spread out in case you don't get a chance to see a lot of tarot cards. Um, maybe you're thinking about buying some cards, and this would help you make a decision for or against these. They're a little big, so they're awkward to use, but once you get used to them, then that's fine. Just like anything, once you get used to using them, um, you know, you acclimate yourself to the system. So this is the Aleister Crowley Toth deck. Love these cards, actually. It's hard to imagine. Um, so we just had 9-11 uh, memorials. And uh, the past presidents were there. Except, of course, the idiot. Uh, he's going to be, I suppose, he was narrating a boxing match. Is that what I understand? Oh, and, and then he shows up, I think, at the last minute of some gathering for firemen who uh, were honoring uh, the 9-11 situation. I don't know. It's just depressing. I suppose, uh, you know, I remember somewhere, this is about Donald Trump. I want to make sure I get his energy into these cards because we're going to talk for a second. I remember that uh, some be, uh, before the uh, 2016, before 2016, I remember seeing some uh, prescient person, some psychic somewhere 
uh, made a prediction that Obama would be the last president. It was just an insane uh, prediction and just laughed at. But as it turns out, it looks like Obama was the last president that we had because 45 wasn't that. And, um, and then we start over with poor Joe. But let's see. This is going to be Donald Trump. This is last in the series. Okay. Is he going to be brought down by his children? Um, is he going to be brought down with the help of his children? It's interesting. Lust. So this is the 11 of the Major Arcana, and this is Lust. This is very interesting how this is portrayed. So you have this uh, kind of a sexy uh, two-headed lion here, and uh, this uh, beautiful uh, woman resting on his back, and then she's holding up what looks like a pustule about to break through the skin of whatever this is. And so this is Lust. I think that's a, a perfect uh, description of what we've got. So... Donald Trump is what he, are his kids going to be uh, significant in bringing him down? And then we'll just ask, is he actually going to see any time behind bars? So the six cards, this will be one, two, three, four. This is five. And then finally, right here, number six. Put these aside because we'll use them in a minute to finish off this. Uh, this will be a Celtic cross, a full Celtic cross, even though these cards are huge. Uh, so um, will the kids be significant in bringing down Trump? The signifier card for that is the Ace of Wands. And so the, you know, uh, wands are fire. And you can see that this Ace of Wands has uh, slammed into the page. It's emitting all sorts of uh, percussions from that. It's fully inflamed. And the Ace of Wands is a great big... Uh, offer, or in this case, maybe a promise of action. Okay, it really couldn't be a more uh, severe or more dramatic uh, Ace of Wands than this one in this top deck. Very interesting. The challenge to that, the question is, will the kids be significant in bringing him down? Okay, the challenge to that, oh, pleasure. <laughs> so this is the Six of Cups, and the Six of Cups is uh, typically uh, reminding us of how things were in a better time and. Life was beautiful, and that makes me think of, of course, Make America Great Again. And then, uh, but the six of clubs, of clubs in this uh, Toth deck is described as pleasure. And so, yeah. So the challenge to this great big uh, fire that's about to be lit here is the um, is the consequence that it has uh, to all the pleasures uh, that they enjoy. The basis of this reading then is, and we still don't have an answer. Uh, will the kids be instrumental in bringing them down? Is the hierophant? Oh no. It's going to be the government. That's very interesting. So the Hierophant is very appropriate in this reading in, in so many ways, of course, because he was the president. So for this to be the base of the reading where he was the president makes perfect sense. I'm asking the question if the kids are going to bring him down. And, you know, this card just says to me, no, it's the government that's going to bring him down. But I want to know if there's going to be a significant element that has to do with the kids. So let's look at this card for just a second. And um, the Hierophant. Beautiful card. The past to this reading then past in this reading about whether the kids are going to bring him down is the knight of swords so this knight okay the swords for me and you've heard me say it before and again and again are truth and justice so this knight of swords is i mean rushing in you know helicoptering in uh to um uh bring truth and justice to the front so that's very interesting and that's the past so i guess that's kind of where we're at now and what's been going on the sky of this reading is asking is if the kids are going to be significant in bringing him down is the Three of uh, Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles, and it's described here in this Toth deck as works. And we can see that these are like very tooled um, uh, edges here for these instruments that are coming in. Almost like a, you, almost like a woodworking instrument where you would dig the wood out with a, this sort of a chisel. And uh, the Three of Pentacles to me is always a, a team working together for something for public display. So again, it's I don't think it's the kids, but uh, it's a significant uh, cooperation somehow. Uh, then again, it could be the three kids, you know, because this could be um, Ivanka, uh, Junior, and Eric. So, you know, could go either way, I guess. Now, the um, likely outcome of the first part of this, when I ask the question, uh, will the kids be significant in bringing them down? And this position is in the sky, if you want to think that these are the kids. Um, then you've got uh, here the star. The star. Is this Ivanka? 
So this is a beautiful card in this top deck. And so this shows the world here. And this female figure here is just luxuriating. She's look, she's got her hand outstretched. There's a cup inside of it. And she's pouring the contents of that almost over her face. Okay. And then in this uh, part of the picture, when we see she's just relaxed, she has another cup in this hand. And she's just, you know, emptying out all the contents of that. So, you know, the star... Uh, the star is just taking all the spotlight, pouring it all over herself to be bathed in that wonderfulness, okay? And then pouring out a bunch of emotions on the other end. So yeah, this looks like uh, this could be Ivanka that finally finishes him in. It's very interesting. Very interesting reading. So will he do time? I want to know right now. Let's shuffle the cards just a little bit because I want to know, will he actually see the inside of a prison cell? Will he see the inside of of a prison cell. That's what I want to know. Uh, even if he would, we know it would be some sort of a luxury place, but still, I want to know, will he see the inside of a prison cell? Just like all those mafia bosses. Um, the signifier card for that, the actual self, the self of that question, will he, Donald Trump himself see the inside of a jail cell? Oh my gosh, look at this. So this is the four of, of, of discs, four of coins, and it's represented by power. And I'm going to tell you something. If this doesn't look like a prison to you, so we've got four corners here. We have uh, the uh, walls uh, right here. We have a moat all the way around and then the bridge coming over. And so I'm going to tell you what. This looks like he will squarely be inside of some sort of a keep. <laughs> Man. Okay. The uh, challenge to that. So uh, if you're saying that he will be inside of a jail... And you know, I just noticed something about this little jail. It's got a tiny little, I don't know if it's a tiny little door or a tiny little window, but there's a tiny little chance of getting out. But then, of course, you're, you fell into the uh, moat. Very interesting. Um, the uh, challenge to that, then, is going to be the devil. Oh, my God. What perfect cards to pull. So, yeah, the challenge to him uh, being in jail is the devil himself. Oh, yeah, because this is how... He will use every devilish uh, prayer uh, that he can muster to not uh, have that happen. So the challenge to that is very strong. It's actually the devil himself. Wow. The hopes and the fears of this issue, as to whether he'll see the inside of a jail cell, are the nine of discs. And so the nine of coins are typically, um, you know, symbolized by a woman just really luxuriating in all her wealth. And this one uh, in this top deck is uh, named as Gain. So the nine of coin. So the nine of coins, the hope and the fears. And uh, so let's see, it could work both ways, I suppose. It could be the, the gain that uh, we uh, as a country um, have by, by bringing this man to justice. Or this could be the, the hopes and the fears that for him that he maintains all of his uh, luxurious gain somehow, or at least a measure of it. Uh, the sky of that reading, which I don't see how he's in such debt. The sky of that reading then is the prince of discs. So this is the, so now these cards are sequenced a little bit different in the Royal Suite here. The Knight uh, is the, um, is actually in the King position in this deck. Then is the Queen and then is the Prince. So the Prince uh, is significant and uh, very interesting. This Prince is, is, is ready to fight for um, his, his value. Man, this feels like Trump himself. Man. This is just going to be a battle, is what this is telling me. This is going to be a huge battle. So I'm going to tell you, this is a spooky reading, uh, uh, if I'm honest with you. It just gives me chills. So I, the first part of that is I want to know, were the children going to be significant? And we got a great big offer of fire, okay? I mean, just a great big face full of fire, the, the Ace of Wands. Uh, the um, challenge to that, then, is this uh, Six of Cups. Uh, named as pleasure in this Toth deck. And, uh, you know, the, in the typ typical tarot decks, this is uh, remembering the past. And, of course, there we are with Make America Great again. So that's the challenge to that uh, the kids uh, getting there. But then the base of the whole reading was what? It's the Hierophant. And I can either say that's a Hierophant because he was the president or that's the government that we have now, and that's what I think this is. That's the base of this whole reading. The past of this reading, then, was the Knight of Swords. And this Knight of Swords is helicoptering in with truth and justice, one in both fists. So, I mean, this is really... Um, a significant card for the past. In the sky of this reading, though, I said, was it the kids? And I get the three of coin, and the three of coin is um, called here works. And uh, it's, I, I have a vision problem. I, I can see better out of the bottom of my eyes, so I have to kind of look like that to read this card. 
But anyway, so works. This is the three kids. Those three pentacles are the three kids working together to um, to save themselves, I suppose. And the likely outcome of that whole thing was the star. And you look at that closely, and you tell me that's not Ivanka just showering herself from the top with a big cup of emotion and dumping out all those old emotions at the bottom, just cleansing herself uh, with something new, the star. And then I said, well, is he going to do jail time? And look at the card we get. It's literally uh, uh, looks like a a, a prison. Uh, the challenge to it is what? The challenge to it is the devil himself fighting to keep this man uh, free. The hopes and the fears of that, this Nine of Pentacles. You know, the Nine of Pentacles is having everything you ever wanted. And in this card, it's called gain. So the Nine of Pentacles are the hopes and the fears. And thus he keeps some gain out of that. But then the likely outcome of the whole thing is the Prince of Discs, which uh, in this card is the third uh, most... Um, a significant of the royal cards. You have the knight first in this one. There is no king in this deck. Then you have the queen and then you have the prince. And so this prince is barreling in. And I'm going to tell you what, this is almost the prince to me of darkness. <laughs> and it's Trump. That's how I see it. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.